In this lesson, I'm going to cover a few different ways that you can connect your identity sources. So what do I mean by an identity source? So if you're in an organization and you're going into an office and logging onto a computer, you've probably been given a user account, so a username and a password. And that could be stored in a directory like Active Directory. So this is a Microsoft product. So your username and password and all your colleagues are stored in the Active Directory. And it also contains things like computer accounts as well. So another place that you might have a username and password is on a social provider like Gmail or Facebook or Amazon. So how can we enable it so that using one of these accounts, we can access resources on AWS? Well, we can do that through identity providers and federations. So we basically federate with the AWS IAM service. Now you don't need to know the details about how it works like OpenID Connect here, but just understand that it's possible to connect or federate with AWS IAM. And in the case of Active Directory, it's actually using something called the SAML 2.0 protocol. Again, you don't need to worry about that too much just to understand that you can federate your Active Directory and also social providers. And that means that those users are then able to authenticate to AWS services. Now, another thing is called single sign-on. Now, in this case, you might have a directory on Azure, Microsoft Azure, or an active directory, so that could be in your data center. And you need to be able to connect from those sources or even these sources. So we've got lots of applications like Confluence and Gmail G Suite here, or Google G Suite. And from those sources, you want to be able to authenticate and then access multiple AWS accounts. So the ability to do that is called single sign-on. It means you log in once and you're able to access different accounts. So you don't have to keep re-entering your password. So just understand that there's a service in AWS called AWS single sign-on that enables you to do that. And your identity sources can be AWS single sign-on, Active Directory, and any providers that use what's called SAML 2.0. Don't worry too much about those details, just understand that single sign-on is a service which enables you to log in once and access multiple accounts. Now, another thing is the AWS Managed Microsoft AD service. So I mentioned that Microsoft have an Active Directory directory, so that's their product, and it's used by many organizations. And this is a AWS managed implementation. So it's actually a full Microsoft Active Directory database it's a managed service, so you don't have to worry about the operating system and an EC2 instance. It's a service that's delivered to you. And you can use it with all the features that you have with Microsoft Active Directory. So you can create what are called trust relationships between different directory services to allow users to access your resources from another directory. Um, and you can also synchronize users and authenticate to Azure AD and lots of other things here, so applications. So Microsoft AD is very powerful, and this means you get the full power of Microsoft AD. So it's a fully managed AWS service, and it's the best choice if you've got a lot of users and you need those kind of complex features like trust relationships. It runs on Windows, and you can set up trust relationships to other directories. On-premise users and groups can also access resources in either domain then using single sign-on. It does actually require a VPN or a direct connect connection to use it from your on-premises data center. And you can think of this as something you can use as a standalone Active Directory in the cloud. So if you just wanna run Active Directory in the cloud and add your users there and then connect those to your applications, then this is a nice managed service that you can use. One of the alternatives is called Simple AD. And this is kind of similar to Active Directory but it's a lot simpler and has far fewer features. It's also standalone, fully managed, and it's a directory service in AWS. So it's delivered to you as a service, just like the Microsoft AD service. Now this is gonna be much cheaper than the Microsoft AD service. So it's best for if you have fewer users under 5,000 and you don't need those advanced features of Microsoft Active Directory. The last service I want to cover now is called the Active Directory Connector. So in this case, you've got an Active Directory on-premises and you have this thing called the AD Connector. 
And that then enables you to sign in to AWS applications. So you're able to sign into workspaces to the management console, and you're able to join EC2 instances to your on-premises domain. So this is where you don't want to use that managed Microsoft Active Directory in AWS. This is actually your own directory. It could be in AWS or it could be on-premises. And you're using that to actually authenticate the users. So you keep your users all in one place. It provides the ability to federate with AWS Management Console and it can map your Active Directory identities to IAM roles. So that means that you have user accounts here they get actually mapped to an IAM role, and then that role allows them to access AWS services. Again, you would connect this over a VPN or Direct Connect if your Active Directory is on-premises. So this is a directory gateway for redirecting directory requests to your on-premises AD. It connects your existing on-premise AD to AWS, and it's the best choice for when you want to use an existing AD, so you've got your own AD on-premises. And you can also join EC2 instances to your on-premise AD through AD Connector. And you can log in to the management console using your on-premise AD DCs for authentication. So that means you're, you have a user account in your on-premises Active Directory. And using that account, you're able to log into AWS Management Console. So just to help you to understand the differences there, the key ones to remember are you've got the directory service for Microsoft AD, this is the one with lots and lots of features, a bit more expensive. You've got the AD connector, and remember the, the, the top one here is actually a service that's managed for you on AWS. With AD connector, it's when you have your own on-premises Active Directory and you want to authenticate to AWS. And then at the bottom, we have the simple AD, which is a kind of low cost version of the Microsoft AD at the top. It has fewer features, but it is cheaper.